Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Friday, the in the fifteenth week of ordinary time, and today we celebrate the life of Saint Bonaventure, and I'll spend a bit of time explaining his life after we have our gospel. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our gospel today is from Matthew, chapter twelve, verses one to eight. Jesus took a walk one Sabbath day through the cornfields. His disciples were hungry and began to pick ears of corn and eat them. The Pharisees noticed it and said to him, Look, your disciples are doing something that is forbidden on the Sabbath. But he said to them, have you not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry? How he went into the house of God and how they ate the loaves of offering, which neither he nor his followers were allowed to eat, but which were for the priests alone. Or again, have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath day, the temple priests break the Sabbath without being blamed for it? Now here, I tell you, is something greater than the temple. And if you had understood the meaning of the words, what I want is mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the blameless, for the Son of Man is master of the Sabbath. the gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned at the introduction today, we celebrate the life of St. Bonaventure. Bonaventure was born at Bagnorgio in Eritrea about the year 1218. He became a Franciscan in 1243, and he studied philosophy and theology at the University of Paris. He was a friend and colleague of St. Thomas Aquinas. At this time in the church's history, friars, as was Bennett Bonaventure, because of their radical embracing of poverty and the rejection of institutional structures, were seen as suspicious and they were seen as opposition. So Bonaventure defended the order against this. And as a result, he was elected general of the order in 1255. And he ruled it with wisdom and prudence. He declined being the Archbishop of York in 1265, but he was made Cardinal Bishop of Albano in 1273. And he died a year later in 1274 at the Council of Lyon. He was declared a doctor of the church in 1588. And so as we celebrate his life today, we pray, St. Bonaventure, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me today for our gospel reflection. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. As I say, take care. God bless. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.